Hi guys and girls. Um, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry it took me so long to make a new tutorial, but I do have a very good excuse for that. I had a back surgery. Um, actually, I had a disc herniation and it was really hard for me to do anything for like six months or so. And then there was the surgery and then there was rehab time. Um, and now I'm finally starting to go back to normal. So I decided to make a new tutorial, a short one. Um, I still can't sit for too long, but important topic nevertheless, so SUG optimization. I think we all know why optimizing stuff for the web is great and necessary, and SUG is no exception. So, for example, we have this beautiful chubby squirrel named Conrad, who is not creepy at all, and for some reason we want to put Conrad out there. And for that, we need to optimize our super squirrel and make him lose some weight. So we're going to save Conrad as an SVG to our desktop. And let's just see what is his size. And right now, his size is 6 kilobytes. OK. Now we are going to open him with TextMate. So you can see the SVG markup here. And we are going to copy paste it into Jake Archibald's SVG optimizer. Um, now, this is the tool I like to use. It's very easy and very manageable. Um, you can upload your file here or just copy paste a markup like this. So Here you will see your image and on the right side you can choose how and what do you want to optimize. Um, now, just as a warning, it automatically cleans your ideas. Okay, so if you're going to do an animation or anything where you need to find your elements by name in the code, make sure that you keep the ideas. Mm. And you can click here on the code, you will see your markup. Um, you can choose not to prettify your code. Um, this way you will save one or two percent more, but um, this one is not as manageable as the prettified code. So let's just copy paste this back and put it into our Conrad code. Oh, I passed it some intruders, let's get rid of them. And here we go. Our new and improved Conrad has dun, 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 three kilobytes, half as what he had before. I think he's going to be pretty happy with his weight loss. Okay, so that's how you optimize your SVG with a tool. Um, I'll put the link down below to Jake Archibald's optimizer I used for this tutorial. Um, but keep in mind that this is not all you can do to optimize your SVG. Um, you can already start in the process of creating SVG, uh, of course, that is, if you're the one making your own vector images. Um, for example, make sure you don't have any unnecessary layers or hidden elements. Try to use primary shapes um, as much as possible, like circles and rectangular, and avoid adding visual special effects, especially if you can do them with some code. And that's it on um, one way to optimize your SVG. Have a wonderful day, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try and answer, and have much fun.